Poisson's ratio is defined as the ratio between the lateral strain and the longitudinal strain. Here we would like to talk about what are the acceptable limits for the Poisson's ratio and why Poisson's ratio should stay within that limit in order to be physically acceptable. Before watching this lecture, make sure to watch an example in which we determine deformation and stresses in a confined element, in a confined block. What is the Hooke's law in one dimensional case, say in the y direction, <coughs> stress in the y direction of sigma y, that would be equal to the modulus of elasticity multiplied by epsilon y? In other words, if I want to determine strain in the y direction, that would be equal to sigma y divided by e. This is the case that we have one dimensional problem. Now I want to compare that with the equation that we just developed for epsilon y. We have seen that epsilon y is different than one dimensional case and that is equal to this equation. That factor that is multiplied by sigma y over e called k. k would be equal to 1 minus 2 nu squared divided by 1 minus nu. Now I want to calculate how much would be the k factor for different Poisson's ratio. Let's determine the k factor for each of those and try to interpret what it means. What is the k value if nu is equal to 0? That would be equal to 1. What does it mean? K factor of 1 means that if we have epsilon y in the problem that we had, which is contained by a rigid container, the relationship between stress and strain would be like this. This is the same case as we had in the first part. I want you to pause here and discuss and tell me what does it mean physically. Okay, so let me draw something here. There is a block and this block is going to be compressed. When we compress the element downward, it is going to shrink in the vertical direction and it's going to expand on the sides. But if there is a container, it would not allow this block to expand on the sides. So there should be some forces that are developed here in order to push that back to the original position. Does that make sense? But once we have zero Poisson's ratio. What does it mean? It means that this block is going to move downward, but there is no lateral strain on the element, and that is going to just stay where it was before. In that case, do we need to have any side stresses to hold it in a position? We don't need that. In that case, it is possible to have the element that is just moving in one direction and having very small deformation on the sides. So that is physically possible. It's unusual, but it is possible. Now, how much is the magnitude of K for nu equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.978? What does it mean? If Poisson's ratio is 0.1, the deformation that we see in the vertical direction is now less than the free deformation where there is no confinement. And it makes sense because if the, element, if the material is going to expand on the sides and you are containing that, it is going to deform less in the vertical direction, right? So that K factor is going to be like 98%. So the deformation has reduced by 2%. Now tell me how much is the value for 0.2? 0.900. So now it has reduced by 10%. How much is that for 0.3? 0 0.743. Now it has reduced by about 16%. How much is that for 0 0.4? 67. Now it has reduced by about 50%. All right. Now I'm going to again pause here. And you tell me what do you expect to happen when we get to 1? How much is the K factor for 0.5? What's that? Zero. Sure? Yes. <laughs> what happened? K factor is equal to zero. What does it mean? Physically, it means that when you are pushing that rubber block downward or whatever the material is, it stays there. Is it physically possible? It is physically impossible to have such a material. The deformation might be very, very, very small but it would deform. There is no zero deformation. In theory, it exists. This is what we define as a rigid element, which says that there is no movement. But in the real world, it would move. So, K 
can we have Poisson's ratio of 0.5? That is physically impossible. How much is the value for 0.6? Okay, it's getting even worse. <laughs> Negative 0.8. What does it mean? If you push it down, it's going up. <laughs> possible or no? It is not possible. The acceptable range for the Poisson's ratio is smaller than 0.5 or larger or equal than 0. It could be 0, but it couldn't be 0.5 because physically it is impossible to have the element that doesn't move because of the applied force. All right, I just wanted to show you some case on how to develop our own equation for different problems and how to interpret that in different cases.